Gary Garcia and I grew up together in Akron, Ohio. We were friends from junior high school on. Out of high school, we started playing in bands together and writing songs and eventually ended up in Atlanta, Georgia. In the fall of 1981, Gary and I were writing and producing radio jingles when one night after a session, we discovered a Pac-Man machine at a neighborhood bar not far from the studio. Well, it didn't take long before we were hooked on it like the rest of the world, playing it almost every night. We kind of thought maybe a song about it would bring some attention to our jingle business and get us some new clients. So we decided to write a song. We wrote the song in the front room of my apartment and took it to Arnie Geller and Buddy Bowie, who had highly successful label deals with several acts. We had worked together with them on two other projects, so we wanted to see what they thought of the song. Well, they loved it and rushed us into the studio to record it. Afterwards, they shopped it around, but nobody wanted it. None of the major labels said that they thought it was a hit. So Arnie and Buddy disagreed, and they put it out on their own label, and it was a smash within a week, selling over 10,000 copies alone in just seven days. CBS bought the master and asked us for an album to go with it as soon as possible. Well, over a period of just two weeks, we wrote and produced the entire Pac-Man Fever album. The single and album went on to become a major hit with both going gold and selling over 2.5 million copies worldwide. Still selling today. It reached number 9 on the Billboard Top 100 chart, and it continues to be heard daily on radio, TV, and the Internet. The song has been featured on 60 Minutes, Good Morning America, The Today Show, and even in the Rose Bowl Parade. In 2011, along with Pac-Man, People Magazine named it in a special edition as number 210 in the thousand greatest moments in pop culture history. But with the continued interest of the album, we decided to do a 30th year anniversary CD and include some personal comments from each of us about the writing and production of each song. Well, sadly, Gary passed away just prior to starting the production. For that reason, I've included a never-before-heard phone interview he did just a few months before his death, so you can hear his thoughts on the album in his own words. The CD includes a full version of each song, followed by a repeat play of the same song, with comments added. Without Gary's talents and hard work, this album would not exist. It is with great love and affection I dedicate this album to him.